Wednesday morning, the Rome community came together to remember the victims of September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks and honor the sacrifices of the first responders made on that tragic day. Primary Speaker Doug Walker with the City of Rome reflected on the details of that infamous day. Most of us gathered here today have a very vivid memory of the shock, the disbelief, the horror, the sadness surrounding these events. In the days and the months and the weeks, the people of the United States united to lend support and aid to all of those who were affected by this tragedy. We came together like never before. In just under two hours, 2,977 people lost their lives. 266 on the four aircraft, 2,606 in or near the World Trade Center, 125 at the Pentagon and those 19 hijackers. Of those 2,977 people that lost their lives, 412, 412 were emergency personnel. 343 firefighters of the New York Fire Department, 37 police officers from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey Police Department, 23 police officers from the New York City Police Department, eight emergency medical technicians and paramedics from private emergency medical services, along with one patrolman from the New York Fire Patrol. Today we mourn the lives that were taken senselessly, but we honor the courage and the bravery of all first responders. We will never, never forget. The ceremony also paid tribute to two local firefighters of the past who lost their lives in the line of duty. For many years, we were under the belief that the Rome and Floyd County Fire Department had never lost anyone in the line of duty. And then a couple of years ago, some folks did some digging and we realized that we were wrong. In November of 1914, Newton Talbert was killed responding to a fire at the Dixie Spring Bed and Mattress Company. But even more recently, in 1955, W.H. Cooper was responding to a fire at the Batty Hospital when a wall collapsed on him. He lived another nine years before finally succumbing to injuries that were directly a result of that incident. So today we are honored to have members of the Cooper and Taubert families to be brought into the plaza by the Rome Floyd Fire Department Honor Guard to place the memorial wreath. A new memorial plaque was unveiled at the Rome Firefighters Memorial Plaza commemorating the two fallen firefighters, their families, and their legacy in the community. Reporting for WRGA News, I'm Ethan Garrett.